Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Michaela here. So today I just sat down and did my makeup because I wanted to talk about new releases I saw and just add my commentary to it. Nobody asked me, but there's YouTube here and I can make videos. So that's what I did. And I did my makeup while I did it. Um, I use a lot of Anastasia products because that's the brand I love the most. Her and Fenty. I feel like they can't do no wrong, you know? I didn't set my face in the outro, so. I'm gonna set it in the intro because this is my channel. I can do it if I want to. So yeah, I just talked about new releases, um, stuff I, would, I liked, I didn't like, what they can do to be better, and you know. That type of deal, I did my makeup. I feel like this is a cute look for brunch. I also mentioned like, I miss my friends. I miss going to brunch, girl talk. Like we talking on the phone, but like, I just miss sitting down eating breakfast, drinking with my friends. Like I miss them. So we're gonna, um. so I was just like, I wanna wear florals and I wanna do girly makeup and that's what I did, so. Just keep watching if you want to see me talk about stuff and play my makeup. I leave heavily used Anastasia Beverly Hills in this tutorial just because like that's kind of low-key my favorite brand. Her and Fenty. But like I don't know why I don't get a lot of Fenty stuff. But yeah, this is one of my favorite brands. And like this is one of the brands that I feel like get it right all the time. I mean, besides like soap culture, which I don't even think that was as big of a deal as everybody was making it out to be. I'm going more tame today. Like I'm just following the natural arch of my brow instead of what I did last video. And plus like my last video was kind of like, I was in a mood. So I wasn't very high energy, but I'm human, so. So, um, first I want to talk about is the Sigma Cora, Cora de Rosa collection, which consists of a palette and some glosses, and it's by Sigma. And the palette is just, look at it, it's just, it's spring, but like it's not spring for everybody, you know? Like, the colors, I get it, but we needed some deeper shades like everybody can't use that it's like four neutrals that look chalky like i can just tell it's gonna be like chalk on my skin tone or anybody deeper than me and like yeah you can make it work but like who wants to make it work for 49 dollars it's 49 dollars so i guess that just wasn't for us because how are we supposed to use that marketing that towards because huh like, we can't use that. And like, as a millennial working woman, we buy makeup. Like, we buy makeup. Like, I'm doing my makeup. So, why would you not be inclusive? You know? I like the way this like made my skin feel the other day. So, this is the No Problem Prime Essence by Touch and Soul. I felt like it was a good... Prep. These are gonna bother me. I had to do something different with these because, like, the way I was wearing them, they was gonna get snatched out of my head because I was not feeling it. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Elf Blurring Primer, the Putty Primer, in my T zone. I need the pour one because. Can you see my pores when I like smear this on? Like it just, they look ginormous. This is the mattifying one. I need the blurring one. Okay, next, I gotta go quick or else this video's gonna be long. It's the Too Faced. They came out with um, some face powder, like a powder blur like type thing and like a new um, highlight. The highlight is good. It looks good because it is um, 
It's called Chocolate Diamond. It's $36. And they came out with some more matte lipsticks, the melted ones. I'm over those. Like, can we get something new? Like, stop expanding the shades and, like, give us a rebrand. So, like, Too Faced gives me very Blair Waldorf. If you didn't watch Gossip Girls, I can't help you. That's not my issue. It's your issue. But I love Gossip Girls. And, like, Blair was my favorite one. Just foundation. Um, I didn't bring my sponge in here. Oh, yes, I did. So, my sponge. It gives me like Waldorf vibes. Like, you know, it's like Too Faced and it's like preppy and like I get it, but like I feel like they need a rebrand because Gossip Girl ain't been on the air since what? 2015, if that. So no, and like that face smoothing powder is white. Like, no, we can't use that. We need more shades or something. My thing is, okay, brands, if you're gonna release something, I'm tired of this. Oh, that's not it. We're um, releasing more shades later. Release them all at one time. Cause by the time, by the time you release my shade or something I can use, I'm over it. The trend is like, what's hot? Like nobody's talking about it no more. I'm not finna buy nothing old. You know what I'm saying? Like I want my shade when the hype is hype too. Not why I gotta wait for something to match me. When you, you the makeup brand, like you can do what you wanna do. You just didn't make it. So that just bothers me with brands like oh it's coming like girl why she got hers i want mine tired of that and it is 36 dollars i don't know how much that powder is actually and like yeah i'm over the the melted lipsticks like i need a rebrand because like the tubes are ugly to me like i just i don't like it i just feel like the brand is the brand and they have their name but like i feel like they just need to like revamp stuff like, it could look better. It could be better, like, more elite. Even the bronzer packaging. I mean, the highlight packaging. Like, it's boxy. But, like, the the highlighter itself is, like, you saw it. I put it up there. It's a good shape. And, like, it's pretty. I just feel like it needs to be encased in something better. You know? Like, I feel like it's kind of like kids, kids play. Like, no. Like, we grown now. Like, the girls who grew up watching Guys and Girls, Blair Waldorf, we still have those vibes, but, like, we grown now. We want better stuff. Like, especially for $36. I mean, no. I'm going to get this foundation, like, a shade deeper than this. Like, I feel like this is a good match. And when I went to the store, he matched me. It looked perfect. I feel like it's good. I just want it to be a little bit darker. But, you know. I'm gonna go with my next Can't Stop, Won't Stop, and Warm Honey. Next up, we have the Pat McGrath. She's coming out. Well, she already came out with her glosses, but like she's releasing a trio of them in the mini, the mini ones. And you get like a, I think a pink one, a purple one, or maybe a green looking one. They're like glitter glosses. And they're $25. I might pick that up because that's the only way I'm gonna try that. Because she's expensive. Like I love it. And it looks good and everybody raves about it, but. Her foundation is $60. Like, sis, you know what I can do with $60? As, like, a working woman. Like, I'm not an influence by no means. So, my $60 can't go towards that. Like, I got to pay for kids' soccer or something, girl. Like, so, I think that's the only way I'm going to try it is to try her, like, mini versions of stuff. And, like, $25 for, like, mini glosses isn't bad because, you know, it's not that expensive. It's $20. Moving on, okay, so the Jeffree Star Bloodlust. I feel like he released a collection every two seconds. Like, if y'all are super fans of him, like, how are you affording his stuff? Because he's not cheap, and something dropped every week, it seemed like. So he dropped his Bloodlust um, collection, and I don't know, like, none of his palettes appeal, appeal to me. Like, none of them make sense to me. Like, I need a good color story. I feel like nowadays brands are just kind of just throwing whatever they want in the palette and just saying, okay, yeah, this is what it is. Like, but it don't make sense. Like, I want something 
that makes sense, you know? I'm gonna go in with this light bright a little bit, like right here. Around this time, me and my friends always go to brunch and catch up. And like, we can't do it right now because everything's shut down. And you know, a lot of things are happening. So I still want to do my makeup like I was going. They said we we're gonna FaceTime each other and see each other and like eat food at home and talk, which sounds like a good idea. But I was like, I wanna dress, I wanna do my makeup and put on like florals and you know, just get glam and drink mimosas, but it's okay. But yeah, like none of his palettes like appeal to me. Like there's no color story. Like it's just always kind of random to me or like the shades are just very similar. Like, I don't know, like, okay. This is prime example, this is my favorite palette. This has a color story. Like you can use all these together, all these together, or this square, this square, this square, this, you know what I'm saying? Like it makes sense. It's not like random. Like, why well, I got a pastel green with a pastel shimmery lavender. I, I'm not walking around like that. Like you make a walk around like that in LA, but like I'm not going to the PTA meeting like that. And I get it like, I don't know. It's just not, it's not my cup of tea, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe powder. Actually, no. I'm gonna use my Anastasia contour. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like Anastasia, like this is old, but like it's, I still would buy this if this dropped today because it's clean and it's just like classic like i feel like they just coming out with like cartoony looking stuff that like nobody wants to spend their hard-earned cash on but i will say like i like his glosses like when i see people put them on the glosses look good they really do like i would buy them it's just the packaging i don't like i don't want to pull that gloss out of my purse <laughs> like i don't know Maybe I just overthink it. But I get it if you're like a super fan and like, you know, you just love him because he has like a cult following. You hear me? So I get that. But sometimes I'm just like, no, I'm not. I'm not really about it. I'm using my finger for this. But you know what I do like of his? His mirrors. His mirrors look like really good. His always look cute. Like I always kind of want his mirror. Like his little handheld mirror. Very adorable. I don't know. I guess I just, I've always wanted to like him more, but I still kind of have a bad taste in my mouth about like his past of like racial commentary. Even though, like, I watched this apology video and he was like, you know, I was angry. I was going through a lot. I was trying to hurt people. <sighs> All that. It's pretty. See, like, I just, I just feel like they don't do, I feel like Anastasia can't do no wrong. In my book. My opinion. So. Moving on, let's talk about the ColourPop and Mulan. When I saw that, like, I was so excited. And, like, I went and I was finna buy it. And then I looked at it. And then I looked at, like, my mood. And why didn't this drop in fall? Like, either last fall or why didn't you hold it into this fall? Because they always collab with um, Disney. Disney. And, like, they just did their Sailor Moon, which was springy. But, like. Sailor Moon's not my vibe, you know? So, I don't know. I was just looking at the palette and, like, it's all reds and tans and browns and fall. Like, hello. It's spring. Like, we've been waiting for spring, even though we in the house right now. But, you know? Like, are we trying to start a trend here that, like, it don't matter what season we in, you can wear... A sultry eye but like that's not my mood though like the sun is shining 
You know what I'm saying? I keep forgetting to turn on my backdrop lights, but I mean, it looks good with just the glitters, but, but you get what I'm saying? Like, I wanted this in the fall time and like, um, the blush and like, I love blush. Y'all know that. But that's not going to blush me. Like, it's pale. Like, I don't need two pale ones. Like, okay, I get it. Like, because I'll use a pale one because I love that Tarte Party Clay clay one. It's a time and a place for, like, a subtle but, you know, pale kind of blush. There's a, there's a mood for that. There's a look for that. I don't need two, though. So, like, you could have gave me one and you could have gave me a deep one. I mean, because she, if you look at the Chinese culture or Japanese or whatever, they wear the deep rouged cheeks sometimes with the red lip. You got the red lip. The lippies look good. But I just feel like they'd be rushing. Like, I don't, I don't, I, you ruined it for me. I don't want that right now. And I'm not buying it to save it, you know, like. I don't want something I can use right now or that like I'm I don't know how to explain it but no moving on the melt rust collection okay so this is an, an example of what I mean this palette look at it. this palette I'm put it right here it has deep browns that you would give you fall vibes but you can also wear it in spring because it's got that yellow it could be everyday appropriate. I can use this palette. And plus like Melt, like I've been watching them and like they give me like old school Urban Decay vibes. Like they're the new Urban Decay, like with the palettes, like how they're vertical and just like edgy. Like Urban Decay I ain't even doing this no more, but like they doing it right. I feel like Urban Decay kind of fell off a little bit, but that's neither here nor there. Um, that was the Morphe powder and banana, by the way. Yeah. I like that. And then, um, they had one gel liner in Rust. That was cute. And they have, like, two lipsticks. We all got lipsticks, so whatever. But I felt like that was a good collection, like, you know? And the palette's 58 That's what I can't get with. The price is $58. Like, you might as well get Auntie Pat foundation. And the gel liner is 19. That's a little better. I'm bronzing with the Fit Me powder. Just because I like this as a bronzer. Like, I figured that out in my last video. It's a good powder. I'm like, it's like the right tone for me to bronze with. I feel like I struggle finding my tone, my undertone. And this is a good one. That's what I love about makeup. You don't have to use it how it's marketed to you, you know? Like, this is not marketed as a bronzer. But look at me go. I just feel like it's so pretty. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia blush trio in pool party all of them all of them okay next we have the black widow times ultra i'm here for this collection but like i'm not buying it <laughs> but here's why i'm here for it because it just gave me like when i saw it on trini moves page like props to trim move all these pictures are hers these are not my pictures because i don't have this stuff but when i saw this on trans moves page i was like why color pop doing another like another collab collection like with marvel because they just did mulan like come on you saturating the market you know they saturate the market all the time but then i look and it was ulta beauty that's good. Like, I like that Ulta's trying to put their name out there because everybody go to Ulta, but, like, when you go to the drugstore side, you ain't buying their stuff. Like, let's be real. Like, you just kind of look and do you even look? I don't even look. Like, I don't want that. So, 
I feel like that was cute. And like they had bags, they even had like bags, like makeup, cosmetic bags. Like I feel like that's a good vibe. Very color pop. And I feel like that's a good direction to go in, you know? So I feel like that's a cute collection for people who are like really into Marvel. And like, I like the Black Widow. Let me give me this. Let me give me this Aurora palette. I'm gonna go in with this one just because why not, right? The spicy blue is cute too. And so is this. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, so I feel like that's a good direction to go in for them. I'm using Helia, this green kind of shift. With these, you have to be careful because, like, in the pan, they look tricky. Like, they look, like, green, blue, purple. But, like, when you put it on, like, it's not. You see what I'm saying? You just got to, like, kind of pay attention at the reflex, not at how it looks in the pan. Because when you put it on your face, it's nice. I'm not trying to glow today. Like, that's all I need. Am I gonna go in? No, I'm not going in with blush because I feel like it didn't disappear. Like, I feel like sometimes my blush disappears. Okay, next we have the NARS Summer Collection. Again, look at those single shadows. A poolside wear no. This is my favorite palette and that's what I'm using today. I don't know what I wanna do, but I know I wanna do something. So, why is it so icy? Like, you know, like, I just don't understand. I just don't understand why we're doing this. Like, are we trying to say, like, seasons aren't important? If you want to wear icy, which we all knew that. Like, some people push the envelope and wear icy colors. But, like, I don't want that. I did like the bronzer, but... Hmm. Bronzer is not something I'm willing to like splurge like super high with. Like I don't even know how much those cost. I didn't even look at the prices because like I just didn't want. It didn't appeal to me, you know. So yeah, like I just felt like that was just not what I needed in my life. I'm putting the Juvia's Place concealer on my eyelids to conceal. I want to pick up the Anastasia um, eyeshadow base because um, one of the YouTubers I watch really likes it, Amanda BB. And like, that's who I got this idea from to do this type of video because she always talks about like new releases and stuff. And I was like, that's a cute idea. So make sure y'all check her out. I'm gonna go in with Ginger as my transition. And then next we have the Natasha Denona palette. It's like a springy palette, but like I, this is so smooth. It's like butter. Like, what are we marketing to? Like, I can't use that. That's gonna be like majority of that palette is gonna turn up ashy on me. Like, I need warm transitions. Like, I can't transition with no gray in my crease. Like, that's not gonna look good. So, like, disappointed. And like all her palettes are gorgeous. I haven't like lost my mind and purchased one, but they're pretty. They're fun to look at. I like to watch YouTubers use them because they look like they're up there. Okay, I'm a super fan. Like I watch Charmed over and over and over and over i'm gonna go with my edges and over again i love that show this palette has no color story it has too many shimmers it's just a letdown like why would you do my good sisters like that like how dare you name these shades after charm 
I'm disappointed. Ew. Like, they just... If you're going to do a charm collection, I need you to watch season one from start to finish. Just season one. Because that's the best season. It's hard to top that. By the end of charm, it was very commercialized. Very, like... It lost its, like, sinister, like, darkness, you know? It was just kind of like, oh, magic is fun. And, like, it still had, like, demons. But, like, it just wasn't... You know what I'm trying to say. So, watch season one. When it was, like, the darkest, the grunge, it was the 90s. I need that. This is terrible. What is this blue? What is this green? And if you're going to do green, like, give me some... It's just ashy. Like, just... No, just disappointed. Like, they just keep disappointing me. And then, um, so let me just switch gears. So, like, what I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to the release of these Fenty Cream bronzers. And, like, that's not done for real. And, like, you can just say, like, I just used a cream bronzer. No, I used a contour palette. There's a difference. Like, this is yummy soft shimmery like subtle shimmer bronziness i'm excited and then like i'm gonna buy her when those release like i'm gonna do like a whole haul because i just been kind of like holding off to see like what i want and like how it's performing so like i'm gonna get some of those fly liners just like a couple because like i don't do liner like that but just when i'm feeling froggy i want that green because like there's this look i want to do with like orange and like a green liner, like a mint green liner. I'm excited. It's in my head, but I haven't done it yet. And um, yeah, so I want that. I want the, the cream blushes she's coming out with. Those look fire. It's to look forward to, like it ain't even dropped yet. And I'm like, ooh, when does that come out? I want that because it's new, like, Nobody did doing cream bronzers for real. Like, nobody who we checking for. You know, like, that's what I mean. I'm about to go in with Supreme all over my lid. Should I have cut it? We'll see. We'll see. It was Anastasia. Nope. Because Anastasia is a pressed pigment type of company. So, they're going to bring the pigment. But you know what I mean? Like, I need cutting edge new stuff. Like, I'm tired of looking at the same stuff. Ew. But yeah, so what's some new releases y'all looking forward to? So, like, I'm ready for April because these March new releases was disappointing. And that's not even all of them. Like, for the market to be so saturated with new products is just underwhelming like do better go in the back and try again i want them to pull that charm palette off the shelves because it's just disrespectful like that interview that Paige did um what was her what's her real name um rose mcgowan imagine how tired we are like if y'all think y'all tired brands, like, we are tired. Because y'all releasing this to us. And we don't want, like, y'all missing the mark. Y'all. This is the best palette on the market. I'm sorry. I might do a um, video where I rate my favorite palettes. Because this is the best palette on the market to me. Like, it's just perfect. It's got everything you need. And, like, you know how I said color story? But, like, I didn't even follow the color store today. Like, I did Ginger, Edges, and Credit in my crease. And then I jumped down here to this pink. And it still looks good together. Like, it's complimentary. Every palette can't accomplish this. You can't do this with every palette. You cannot. I'm going in with um, Edges. Like right here to like make that orange pop. Because like it's not like orange. It's like terracotta. Do you see what I'm saying? Like 
the shades are pigmented, but they're pigmented in a way that it's just not crazy. Like you don't look crazy. Like you can use whatever you want to use. But if you're a beginner, here's some ideas. I just think it's great. I didn't powder my brows. I don't know if I want to. I need an inner corner highlight. I think I want to go in with the warm trust issues. Cheeky chunky. I want to go in with trust issues because I never use trust issues for real. So yeah, like, would you buy any of these releases or like, what are y'all seeing that you want to see? Did you like this video format? This is fun. I'm going to go down here with edges and credit. I don't think I'm doing lashes today. Like I brought some, but you've already seen them. It's the Boss Babe Lash. I don't think I want that today. But I'm gonna go in with my Tarte um, Big Ego. I don't think I'm doing liner either. Just because I feel like when I do liner, my lashes have to compete with the liner, like being longer than the liner so you can see the lashes. So I'm not doing lashes today. Like this is my brunch look. You see, like, it's like, she's cute. She brunches, she loves florals. She watches Gossip Girl. It's a mood. Y'all make sure y'all check out my past videos. I just recently did um, a what's in my bag video. Um, products I never touch video. Different things like that. I don't think my lashes look so long, but like with them head on. But yeah, you see what I mean, y'all? Like my lashes are so curly. It's hard for me to wear falsies. I got mascara on my nose. That's going to have to dry down before I get it off. So, <clears throat> how have y'all been? Like, how's quarantine been? It's crazy to have to go to work. Like, I'm about to have to go to work Saturday. I'm scared. I don't want to go to work. Like, even though the lobby closed. Like, girl, I ain't trying to be out here during no pandemic working. But I'm thankful because I'm able to pay my bills. I lowered the camera so that, let me get this off my nose. They're not seeing it either. I lowered the camera so that when I bend down to do my lips, y'all can see me because I'm always out of range when I'm doing my lips because I bend over because of my mirror. So this is NYX um, lip liner in brown, my favorite one. I'm going to go in with Anastasia Lippy in the shade Bittersweet. It's like a chocolatey type of nude. And then why it's still wet, I'm going in with Kiss Lipstick by Anastasia in the center.
Fressbar. Die wollen wir da groß. Sind halt so Raketen da eher so. So like this lip gloss, like I feel like this is special packaging because it's toothpaste and like it's Blair Boulder vibes. Like I'll pull this out my purse. It's girly and it's cute. But like the dress we saw was like it's ugly to me. Like so even if I do love the gloss, like I don't love the packaging. Oh, that's a lip. That is a lip. What do I want to add? I feel like I want to add something to my brow bone. But yeah, y'all. Um, I also have a IG video going up. Um, like fun ways to style my passion twist. And um that's um gonna be on IGTV so I'll link to my um, Twitter and IG and all that down below. So check me out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is the final look. I'm gonna pull my hair forward since I stopped. Yeah, this is brunch vibes for me. Let me know if you like it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.